Overcurrent relay is a relay that provides protections against overcurrent and it uses current input from a current transformer or CT and compares the measured values with preset values. So in this video I am going to design a logic diagram of overcurrent relay in MATLAB simulating software and then create a subsystem for our model. First open MATLAB simulating then create a blank model so for adding the components here you can either make use of library browser or you can do that by tapping on a screen then a search sign will appear type the name of component now let us start from input type in add two more by pressing control key you will get the copy of it next search for rms block double click on and set the frequency to 50 hertz make initial rms value 0 for simple time, assume 0 0.001. Okay. Press Ctrl key and add two more. Connect input to RMS block. In the next step, we need to add relational operator blocks to compare between two inputs. Double click it and change the relational operator sign. Select this one. It means that the operation will be true if the first input is greater than the second input. OK. Add two more. And then connect this input port to the RMS output port. Similarly, connect for these two blocks as well. For compression of the input signals, uh, we need to add a constant block. So search for constant and add another input ports of the relational operators into constant block. Double click it and change constant value to 20k. It actually depends on your design. Uh, you need to choose a value according to your power system design. Next, we need to create an application of logic gates to stand for set reset latch. So search for SR flip flop block. As you can notice, it has two inputs, S and R. S stands for set and R stands for reset. There is also two output Q and it is complement Q prime. Press control key uh, to get copy of it. Connect S into the output relational operation port. an R to a constant block. Double click it and change constant value to zero. Okay. Next add a logical operator. Double click it and change the number of input ports to 3. OK. Connect the complement Q prime ports to the logical operator input ports. In order to get rid of uh, warning about unconnected output ports of the SR flip-flop, 
add terminator block and connect to each of the unconnected output ports. In the next step, search for data type conversion block. To convert the input to the data type and scaling of the output, connect to logical operator output port. Double click it and change the output data type to double. OK. And finally, add the output port to provide an output port for our model. Connect it. Now the internal logic circuit of our relay is completed. So let us create a subsystem. Select it all, and then right click and create subsystem from selection. Let's name our circuit as our current relay. So this is a subsystem block of our relay model. And in the next video, we will use it and analyze how it can detect our current issues and can send a trip comment to the circuit breakers. Thanks for watching.